Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Michel Guapo, man. Street certified news. Um, and today's story is a sad story. Um, happened this past weekend. Uh, St. Louis baby Savage was killed accidentally by his cousin. Sadly for the family, um, but also, you know, helpful for investigators. All of this was live streamed on Instagram. So people actually, there were certain people who saw this. Somebody recorded it. Um, the video went viral of a teenage girl, a very young, uh, she was only 12 years old, um, playing with a gun with her 14 year old cousin and the gun goes off. So let's just start, you know, let's start from the beginning. Uh, about 2 a.m. Friday morning in a St. Louis apartment, a 12 year old and a 14 year old, Paris Harvey and Kawan Harvey were playing in the bathroom with a gun. According to the family, these cousins were attending a family party of like another family member, I guess. There were some birthdays in March and everybody kind of celebrated uh, what was going on with the family that day. So 2 a.m., you know, playing with guns, live streaming on Instagram, the family's in the other room. That's kind of how the video starts. Family members would later say that Paris, who was one of nine children, um, was a funny seventh grader who liked singing and had a beautiful voice. Uh, in the video that went viral, um, you see her playing with the gun. Uh, you know, it didn't look intentional, but eventually her finger was on the trigger and the gun goes off, striking Karan and killing him right then and there. Um, in a hush, in a panic, she drops the gun. She sees what's going on. She kind of falls to the ground. And then there's varying stories about what exactly happened from that point. So the police, and to be honest, the video, when you actually watch it, it tends to lead you kind of to what the police were saying, which is in a panic after she uh, accidentally killed her cousin, she picked up the gun and she shot herself. Um, you then see the family members hearing the noise, trying to barge into the bathroom. Of course, it was hard for them to get in the bathroom because there's, you know, two of their family members laying on the ground dead and they were busted in the bathroom to find, you know, this bloody, gruesome scene. Um, family is saying otherwise. So the police are saying murder, suicide, and the family is saying otherwise. The family believes from watching the video once, um, you know, the gun goes off and it kills Karan. She drops the gun in a panic. She picks the gun up by the barrel and it goes off, killing her also accidentally, which, uh, to be honest, don't make a lot of sense to me in the in the in the footage where you see her accidentally shooting her cousin. Her finger is on the trigger and I don't you know, it's kind of hard to believe that she would pull the trigger once drop the gun and then pick it up by the barrel and then the gun would just you know discharge but you know that's what the family saying i understand why they saying that but the police you know they're investigating the crime as a murder suicide so first off man like i said we want to send our heartfelt condolences to paris harvey and karan harvey age 12 and age 14 they whole family um we believe that both these children were basically lost too early and they weren't able to see their full potential of life, which is always a sad situation, uh, no matter you know who it is or what the circumstance is. So right after we posted this story on Street Certified and Instagram, I actually got hit up and somebody sent me like some crazy info that I wasn't expecting. Apparently the 14 year old Karan, who was the initial victim in the shooting, was like this young St. Louis savage um, and he was really heavy in the streets. Um, so looking at his Instagram, I can kind of see he's loosely affiliated with um, a, a St. Louis group called um, it's a drill movement out of St. Louis. Uh, he was also an aspiring rap artist um, and he went by the name SBSK Sav. Um, and the latest Instagrams actually is his mother who is sending her condolences is basically posting on his page saying like how much she miss him and how he's you know how he's gonna be you know sadly missed but at the same time bro page got like hella guns and drugs and 
his mama on the page with him. So she knew her son was in the streets. She knew her son was, you know, a young St. Louis savage trying to come up uh, in the streets or a rap game, whatever he was trying to do. And really, she condoned that. Um, we, we we not here to pass judgment on a grieving mother, but we just want that we just wanted to put that out there that his Instagram, you know, his mother was on his Instagram. She posted on his Instagram after he passed. And if you go on his Instagram, man, it's like bro was really out here. You know what I'm saying? So it seems that K Sav, um, Karan uh, Harvey, 14 years old, was a real you know, savage, he got guns, he got drugs, he out here, he linked up with different crews in St. Louis, he was really out here in the streets, and it's crazy because, you know, they, they always say that it's two ways out of the streets, either uh, dead or in jail, and, and I believe that, you know, that is very true, in this situation, it just happens to take a sad, like, turn, where his cousin who was a seventh grade girl uh her mother said you know she raised her right she was a good kid she looked up to her uh, a cousin who was two years older he was a savage he had guns he had drugs he was out here and it really seems that this young dude was fatally killed with his own gun by his 12 year old cousin at a family get together um what a sad end to a story um you know, for young uh, SBS K-Sav, man. Uh, like I said, we wish condolences out to his family. Um, and it just goes to show you, man, this street life is real. You never really know where it's coming from when you bring things like guns and drugs and certain types of energy into your life. It can really manifest itself in all types of different ways, man. So, you know, we just want to put that out there. We don't want to make the video too long. Hey, drop a like. Uh, drop a comment subscribe if you're not already following and let us know in the comments man what do you think was really to blame in the situation do you think it was just you know bad gun safety bad trigger discipline do you think that sbs k sav kind of have was setting up his life for it to end this way or do you think you know it was the parents or was it just some crazy accident man that we never saw coming man hey look it's your boy emrick guapo man street certified news man we out